Hi, welcome to this Max 7 tutorial number 38. Intro to Jitter, more JIT Ops. So we've been exploring um, the JIT Op object and how it's used to merge media, <laughs> merge video. And here we have our two videos that we merged last time. So just to recount, we have a JIT movie JIT QT movie playing over here, being run by this metronome. Read Dozer movie playing play, being played by this JIT QT movie. They're running into the JIT op. And at op, it's adding one plane together, subtracting one plane, and multiplying another plane. And in this video, we're just going to um, try to get better control of that two different ways. First, I'll show you how to get... Um, maximum control of it and we'll do that first and then we'll talk about the easy way so we always uh, do it the hard way first right so let's grab these bunch and move them up and over here so we get a little more room over the JIT op and these over here and put these over here and um, what we'll do here is we're going to tell it to put something in here, which we do by using our friend the prepend object. So type n, type prepend, prepend my pretyping, and then op. Okay, so whatever message we send to this, it's going to prepend it op, which is going to send it right to at op. You'll find this useful later on. And it will adjust them. Now, to send three or even four, because there's an alpha channel here, four values to that, we'll want to use the pack object. So uh, right above this, click and then type an in type pack, whoops, not pack, pock, no C, no C, just a K. And then uh, let's just type uh, uh, symbol, 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 symbol. And with that pack object, let's stretch out the pack object so that then we can put a U menu over that. Type N, type U menu, and Let's put some, we can make this relatively small. So let's get an inspector on this one. That would be command I, or you can just open it in the sidebar over there by clicking on this little white eye. But then what um, menu items do we want to put in there? Um, let's just start with the ones we know. And put in plus. Um, minus, which would be a hyphen. Actually, I, I know if you put a comma after them that it will definitely go to the next line. So uh, plus, comma, space, minus, comma, space, um, asterisk, which is multiply, comma, space, divide, that's a forward slash, comma, space, and um, uh, just for fun, um, we did this before, and I'm so I'm going to just refresh you. Do an exclamation point, and then minus, and that'll be our last one for for the moment. Exclamation point minus means that instead of taking the first one and subtracting the second one from it, it takes the second one and subtracts the first one from it. So just a good way to reverse things there. Okay, 
So now our U menu has that uh, those things in it, and we want to take the middle output because that's where the symbol will come out, and attach that to the pack object, and then we want to duplicate this for each of the other inputs. So I'm just option clicking on it now, and running that across, and then remember middle outlet to each of these inlets and we could make this a lot tidier I'll be the first to admit um, I'm gonna command Y this thing so I can oh, that's not really helpful well it's a little helpful and then I'll command Y this one and then we'll move that into the middle there we go command Y just automatically puts a uh, it sort of it, it attempts to route your patch cord and it usually just puts some nice bends in it so you can move things out of the way like so okay that's good for now all right so now if we line these up oh so neatly again we can see if our little experiment worked so let's uh lock the patcher and uh the first one is a plus. Let's change it to a minus and see if it changes. Oh, I changed it to a multiply. And just about froze my computer. Uh, because the other ones are zero, no doubt. So let's just change them all while the computer thinks about that. So let's make them all multiply. So and I'm going to separate these two so they're not so weird and stuck together. Okay, yeah, I forgot about that. If you send one of these in, the rest of them were zeros, and it, it doesn't love that. So now we have them all multiplying. So the Dishes movie is being multiplied again by the so-called Dozer movie that we know is a backup. But we can change each one of them, if our patcher is locked, to do something else. So we could divide them. That, that would be dividing green um, we could subtract the blues backwards. Ooh, very interesting. And we can also play with the um, with the alpha channel. Um, now, just because both of the alpha channels are probably set at um, 255 or 1, depending on how you look at it, um, it's hard to... I guess if we divided them, it would be 1 divided by 1, which would be the same as multiplying them 1 by 1. If you subtracted one from the other, you get zero, and uh, uh, hmm. added them together. Hmm, that looks like more like the blue channel. I'm gonna go over here and see if this one does anything. No, this is okay. Alpha channel first, then red. Yeah, green and blue. So where they're all plus now, multiplying dividing and multiplying and subtracting backwards. So that's a way to keep a very, very careful control over what happens to the planes um, that are going into the JIT op object. So one plane at a time, it's changing them, and you can have really tight control on your output in that way. I'm going to be back with another tutorial to just show you the easy way to do it, and uh, I'll see you then. Take care.